let's talk about the SED principle. It's a foundational idea in rehabilitation and in exercise. So the SED is S-A-I-D, stands for Specific Adaptation to Imposed Demand. When you ask something of your body, your body is going to uh, adapt specifically to that thing. So if you want to be really good at push-ups, then you do a bunch of push-ups. If you want to be really good at running, then you do a bunch of running. So pretty common sense idea, right? What you wanted to be better at, your body gets better at. A few caveats though. We want to consider time. Your body is adaptable and resilient. So remember that. You are adaptable and resilient. Say it with me one more time. You are adaptable and resilient. But what are the constraints of that adaptability? Time is a big one. It takes time to get somewhere. If you want to be able to do 100 push-ups without stopping, you can't just get there in two weeks. Just another way of looking at overtraining. Something else to be aware of is the idea of variability. So when you go, when you exercise, you're in a very controlled environment. And when you're doing your push-ups or when you're doing your squats or when you're lifting your weight over your head, uh, it's very controlled, which is good. So you can do a lot of reps and you can do it safely. So excellent. We want that and that is good. But when it comes to using that and to taking the object and throwing it over the fence or lifting the thing up into the attic or picking the box up off the floor, the box is never the size of the barbell and the object oftentimes shifts or squirms or whatever. I would encourage you when you're thinking about what, are, what am I trying to do? Do I want to be able to run so far? Well, to vary your training a little bit, give your tissues and your nervous system some variability some interest, something new and unique, something fun, something creative. So take whatever it is and just change it up. Do it single leg versus double leg. So throw in some variables like that. Just to, um, change it up a little bit and train in a little less of a narrow or strict fashion. I think your body is going to like it a lot. So that's that and we'll see you next time.